What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Durky Chan. Today, we're doing a comparison of two of my favorite, favorite fragrances of all time, guys. These two fragrances have been in my collection for a while, and I think will always be in my collection. If I were to just have two fragrances, I think from the same line for, for day and night all year, it would be these two right here, guys. Why so uh Lani with the Lom? You've pretty I'm pretty sure you've you've heard about it. One of the best day night fragrances out there. And why so Lom, baby, the original the one that started it all. <sighs> Pure elegance. So I thought why not do a comparison of these two? I mean if you're into fragrances, chances are you've heard of these two and chances are you're deciding which one to get. You know what, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna spray some Lana with the Loma on. I'm about to go on a date with my girlfriend. Um, it's our 10 year anniversary. Time flies, man, time flies. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So, why so long? Fabled, fabled collection. Lana with the Loma, it's this cardamom fragrance. Very seductive, fantastic for date night. Nighttime, definitely. You can wear it to the clubs. I've worn it to the clubs before, and it has worked. People say performance is not that good. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, for me, this is a 2020 batch. I've had haven't had any issues. I mean, like when I spray it going out at night, I usually spray this on my clothes. So I do five sprays on like a jacket or something. And that five sprays lasts me a full six to, eight, six to eight hours. And you're still getting a fantastic scent bubble. A one to two feet scent bubble for sure. I still smell it on my clothes as I'm walking around. People can still smell it. So all the concerns about performance, dilutions, it's not as dramatic as everybody says. It's not going to be like, you're going to spray La Nuit de Lom, and in an hour, you're not going to smell it anymore. You know, it's not that drastic, okay? You're going to still smell it. Maybe your nose has gone blind to it. So, don't worry about reformulations. If you like the smell of the fragrance, definitely sample it and see for yourself, okay? But don't just say, oh, I'm not going to buy it because so-and-so on YouTube said it had bad you know performance albeit people that are saying that it does have bad performance probably have a legit old school bottle and from what I've heard those old school bottles have godlike performance and godlike projection so I definitely understand if you're going from something that has godlike YSLY EDP type of performance to something where it's a bit more watered down, a bit less potent, I would I would understand the anger and the frustration, right? You're charging the same price for a product, but you're not getting as much as before. But hey, that's just how it is, you know? When you talk about inflation and everything, it's just how it is. $50 today is not worth the same as $50 in 2020. 20, so, you know, it, it makes sense what they're doing. But man, I just sprayed La Nuit de Loma on. Pure seduction, guys. A hint of baby powder, some of that cardamom sweetness, mysteriousness. It really is just elegant date night fragrance, guys. So, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP, is the classic casual date night king. But La Nuit de Loma will always be that elegant date night fragrance, guys. Okay, moving on to YSLY Lom. Now this one, man, I'm gonna layer these two. They smell that good. I'm gonna layer these two. So Lom is that, so to me, when I smelled both of these fragrances, definitely Lom stood out to me more. It was just brighter, it had citrus, it had the ginger, it had this kind of small apple kind of vibe, like apple orchard kind of vibe. And that caught my attention more you know, I, it's just a brighter fragrance, and to me, this one was a more noticeable one. Why? So, 
Lom was the more noticeable one. So at first, I just picked up Lom. I was like, you know what? You know, I don't really need Lani with the Lom. I have this. I could see myself wearing this to a date. Yada, yada, yada. You know, fast forward a month. I could not stop thinking about Lani with the Lom. There's just something about that cardamom that they add in there that gives it this very greenish kind of vibe. It's very addicting, guys. It's something you want to smell over and over again. So that's perfect for, you guessed it, a date night. In a date night situation, you want that person you're trying to seduce to come closer and closer. Alana with the Lom does that, baby. Whereas Lom, it's to me the king of the daytime fragrance, guys. It's this very smooth hint of ginger, hint of florals kind of fragrance. It's very soft in the nose, very elegant kind of vibe, a hint of sexiness due to its just smooth creaminess in it that gives it this hint of, you know, sexiness. But overall, you might have heard this before, it is the nice guy fragrance. Now, don't let that scare you away from YSO Lom, okay? It might be considered the nice guy fragrance, but I think what most people mean by it is that it's just the nice smelling guy. You know, it's not the nice guy that we refer to as the guy that finishes last. It's definitely not that. You know, I've definitely worn this on a couple first dates and it has gotten high, high marks. It has gotten me second dates, third dates, and we all know what happens on the third date. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you get what I'm saying. If you get what I'm saying, you know on the dirt date, you always go get pizza, guys. There's nothing more telling about a person than how they eat pizza. Do they fold it? You know? Do they dangle it in their mouth? Do they use a fork and a knife? Or do they get two slices and eat it like a sandwich? You could tell a lot about a person about how they eat pizza. And usually on the dirt date, I go get pizza with them. You know? Just to see, okay... The walls are down. Let's see who you really are. You know, are you going to order a classic Sicilian pizza, you know, with a nice crust? Or are you going to go uh, margarita pizza? Or are you going to go, you know, classic pepperoni? You know, are, are you a deep dish kind of person? Or are you a thin crust? You can tell a lot about a person by the pizza they eat. I digress, guys. <laughs> Back to the fragrances. Sorry, it's just that New Yorker coming out of me. You know, I love pizza. I love Brooklyn. All right, so back to these two. So which one should you get? Now, it all boils down to your situation. If you're just looking for a fragrance that you could rock in the daytime and in the nighttime, quite honestly, you could get away with why it's so long. You really can't. Reason being is that it's just a good smelling fragrance. You know, super mass peeling, super soft. Very sensual, very cuddable, cuddable, cuddable scent. It's just a scent that you're going to smell, you're going to like. Whoever's smelling it is going to like. It just smells good. It smells like a very, very well put together guy who knows what he's doing and is going to get that bag. Whereas Lani with the Loam, it's a bit more geared towards the nighttime. Yes, you could kind of wear it in the daytime, in the winters and the fall. But in the spring and the summer, you can't really rock this. Whereas I think YSL Lom, the original, you could wear it in the daytime, in the spring, in the summer. But you could also wear it in the nighttime, in the spring and the summer. And whereas in the winter, you could get away with it, wearing it in indoors. So it's a bit more more, more versatile, you know. So in terms of overall seduction and which one you should wear if you're just trying to seduce somebody or, or, or just give off that mysterious vibe just to complement your, your personality, if you're more of an open kind of person, go with YS alone. But if you're more of a, you know, one word type of person, let the person come to you kind of kind of person, you know, get along and wait the long. Man, the cardamom in this is heavenly. Okay. Now, in terms of price, you're not really going to get these under 
70 bucks if even if you're trying to go to a gray market site these fragrances are legendary in their very own they're kind of up there in terms of like legendary status of something like a blue de chanel or stuff like that so for me i picked up both of these bottles i think for 80 bucks both i might have picked up lani with the loan for about 85 dollars and long for about 75 i think it's been a while but uh bear in mind you're not gonna get like 50 60 dollar steals on these for 100 ml or something like a prada luna rosa you could you could probably get 100 ml for around 50 to 60 dollars but man, the quality is there in these fragrances, guys. Do not forget that. This one, I've said this before in my review. When I spray YSO Lawman, I just want to do good. You know, it just puts me in a very positive headspace and is the perfect complement to a nice sunny day out. Whereas Lane with the Loam. It's the perfect compliment when you're going out. It really, really is. And I do like layering these two. I find if you layer these two in the nighttime, you're going to get that seduction of Lana with Loam, but it's going to be brightened up a bit by YSL Loam. Whereas if I spray a little bit of Lana with Loam in two, two sprays of Loam, I feel like I could just wear it all day. You know, the Loam is fresh for the day, but then. Lani with the loam that can carry me into the nighttime. So, guys, in terms of age ranges, loam teenagers can wear it and up. It's a very, very nice smelling scent, not overly masculine. Hint of ginger, hint of florals, hint of citrus, warm, musky, fantastic, fantastic blend. It smells like a nice guy. Whereas Lani with the loam, it's a bit more older, definitely somebody in college. And up should rock Lana with the loam. Now, in terms of compliments, guys, overall, I, these two have to be equal. I would say if I were to wear this in the daytime 50 times, and if I were to wear Lana with the loam 50 times in the nighttime, they would get the exact same amount of compliments. But, but I still think Lana with the loam will get slightly more compliments. Just because it's seductive. It's more seductive, you know. Whereas when it's alarm, yes, people might go, oh yeah, you smell nice, but it doesn't, you know, captivate them. Whereas Lana with the Loma has that captivation because of that cardamom. That cardamom is very noticeable and will turn heads. Whereas when it's alarm, yes, it smells good, but there's no definitive note in it that's a head turner. So in terms of compliments, I'm going to have to give it to Alana with the Loam uh, just for the fact that it has that cardamom noticeable note. All right, so we talked about compliments, one of the most important parts of a fragrance. Now let's talk about performance, guys. To me, both of these last about the same amount of time. You're going to get one to two hours of projection followed with six to eight hours of longevity one feed scent bubble, pretty cut and dry. If you spray it on clothes, expect to get two to three hours more longevity. And quite possibly if you spray it on, depending on the material, if you spray it on something like a jean jacket or a athletic jacket, the scent will carry on for two to three days. Mark my words. Other than that, guys, final thoughts. Lana with the Loam and the original Loam by YSL are some of the best creations in terms of designer fragrances. Great smelling DNA spawned a lot of flankers. A lot of flankers. They've released back in the, I want to say, mid 2000s. And they're still going strong. I'm definitely glad I discovered these two fragrances in my fragrance journey. They're definitely fragrances that really represent me, my put-togetherness, um, and, and just the softness of it. Yes, I am a softie. But overall, fantastic fragrances that I really enjoy, and hopefully you get a chance to check them out too. That's all I have, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe.